These are all the parts you're going to need to make your mousetrap car. You have these two rails and a lever arm which moves with the mousetrap. You'll have this connector piece that holds the two rails together and so does the mousetrap on the other end. It also powers your car. These parts back here are your back wheels and axle and your front wheels and axle. You also have a couple of zip ties to attach this lever arm to the mousetrap and some string that makes it all work. You're also going to have a couple of pieces of sandpaper. You'll have a rough and a fine one. That's just to smooth everything out while you're working on it to make it all, all nice. And also just in case there's parts like maybe this axle here that you need to sand down a little bit in order to make them fit into the other parts. Um, now you're going to need some glue as well. You can use just regular school glue, Elmer's glue if you've got that, or wood glue also works. These two just take longer to dry, but they work, they work well. You could also use super glue on it. Um, again, dries faster, and the one that dries the fastest would be hot glue. That's what I'm going to be using right now. First thing we're going to glue is the mousetrap onto our rails. There are two different sizes of holes. There's the big one and the little ones. The little ones are offset. You can see that they're closer to one side than the other. That means that is the bottom of your car. So if it helps and you want to remind yourself to put that down, you can write a B for the bottom on that. So you know to always keep those down. Your mousetrap is gonna go on the same end as the small holes with the mouse pointing away from those small holes. Before you get everything glued up, you're gonna to wanna to make a mark about an inch away from the end. So I'm gonna line these up perfectly and then take my mouse trap an inch away from the end. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna make a straight line That way it's going to prevent me from accidentally offsetting these and then making the uh, axle turn sideways and make your car veer one way or the other. So we're ready to glue this on here with the mouse facing away from the small holes. I'm gonna take our glue. Next thing we're going to glue is this stabilizer piece towards the center of the mousetrap. You don't want it over here on the end or it will get in the way of the string. So we're going to put it about in the middle. Next we'll put our front wheels on. These are the same wheels that we use for CO2 cars. To put those on you'll just set it with the axle on a table or the floor, something you don't want to scratch, and push it down. If it's hard to, uh, to get to go into the wheel, then you can also take a hammer We're going to put that on this side where the mousetrap is, and put it through those two smaller holes like that and then push that last one on there or tap it on there with a hammer. Make sure it spins freely that it's not running into anything. Next set of wheels are the big CDs or DVDs and you're going to be putting in these hubs that go into the, to the center hole right there. Sometimes they're really hard to get to go into it. Other times they just snap right in real easy. Careful, you can break them if you push on it too hard. Now if they're too easy to go in there and they're, they're really easy to spin, then feel free to put a little bit of glue on there to make sure they don't come loose and start spinning on you. 
Next, we'll put in this axle that has a small hole drilled in the center of it. That's where the string is gonna go later. But right now, we're gonna put the axle into one of these. It should be pretty tight. You might have to tap it in with a hammer as well. Um, but again, if it's too loose, then go ahead and put some, some glue on there. So we'll put that first wheel on the axle and just like the other one, slide it through, except for this time it'll be on these bigger holes that we have there. And then we will tap it onto the other side. Yeah. So make sure that they are straight, the other side is wobbly. There you go, make sure they spin freely on both sides. And now we're ready to put the arm on. So the arm attaches using these two zip ties. And to get this to go on, the arm needs to be sticking out in this direction in front of the car. It doesn't matter which side you put it on but uh, make sure that it is on the side of the part of the mousetrap that snaps down. Be careful on this part that you don't accidentally snap your finger in the mousetrap. If you're not sure how to set one of these, then you carefully pull it back. Don't put your fingers over here. And then you'll take this little arm and that loops underneath this hook. It's right here on the ends. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. This little hook right here, it grabs it and then holds on to it like that. So you can set it off like that. But we're not gonna be using it for that. We're gonna use it to move our arm from this position to this forward position to spin these back wheels. So take this and lift it up a little bit and put your zip ties underneath. It's easiest to just get them started. Don't pull them tight yet, just get them halfway If you have them you can use you can use some pliers to pull on it even tighter. And then when you're done with them, you can use pliers again to cut the ends off of them or scissors will work just fine. So before we put this string on, we're gonna make some marks along this arm every inch that we'll use later on when we're testing it. Use a pencil or a marker and a tape measure or a ruler to mark these every inch. You don't have to go all the way down to here, so you can stop, in this case, at the nine. Now, we're gonna make a loop in this string. We'll take it and tie it over itself, and then pull it through. So it's just a loop that will go over the end of our, of our arm over here. The other side of the string is going to get started by going inside of this little hole that we drilled on the center of the axle. You'll just get it started here and then it should allow you to twist that string around. We're gonna go backwards with our wheels and just start wrapping it up around that back axle. Now you'll pick this arm up and continue to wrap your wheels, or wrap the string around your back axle and you are ready to test your car. The different lines that you made on the, on the arm indicate where you're going to place the end of the string for each test. You'll have a worksheet on Canvas that you're going to use as you test this 
to fill in your data and answer those questions. So you'll twist it all the way down like this and then you can see when you release the arm